guys. Hi, Mum. Where are you? Yeah. Is there anything to eat at all? No. Oh, no. Mums. Okay. What do you want to eat then? Can I have your first? Where's my husband anyway? He's upstairs. Upstairs. Honey. Okay, see you soon. You want jollof rice again? How many times in the week are you going to eat the jollof rice? Have pepper soup. Jollof rice and pepper soup. Anyway, you won't kill me. Alright then, I'll see you in a minute. Come on, get the pots ready and everything ready. You know what? It's high time now that I teach you how to cook jollof rice. Since that's the only food that you both like and all of you like, and I think all women do like jollof rice. No wonder we eat it so much at parties. Let me teach you how to cook the jollof rice today. You know, at a very tender age, when I was young, people used to come to our house to come and say, oh, they want me to cook their um, jollof rice for their parties. And I always go there and go, don't touch that pot, don't touch that jollof rice thing. Any ingredients for the jollof rice is a little girl that is gonna come. And I used to be much skinnier than you. So now today is your day. So you'll be able to cook it for me instead of waiting on me all the time. I think it's high time that our, us mothers, we need to indulge our children, our young children, even as young as 8, 9, 10, to start, you know, engaging in our traditional cooking so that when they get married, they won't just be serving salad. In my old age, I don't want you to come and be giving me salad all the time, you know. I want my proper traditional food sometimes. Okay, babes, should we go? Come on, babe. Rice. What I've done here is I've sliced some tomatoes. This is about three or four fresh tomatoes. Um, they're a bit soft, not too hard. And then I've sliced some onions also. I've given it this round circular slice because that's what I've been used to from when I've been small and younger. Uh -huh. So that's the kind of slice. But if you want it like a longitudinal slice, you can give it that one. But I like the circular one. And then I've sliced up the big sweet red peppers of which I've already um, stir fried a little bit in a little bit of sunflower oil and I've blended um, with my blender there. So now if what I tend to um, understand about the jollof rice is when it's red, when it's creamy, it's lovely and it tastes nice. You need a lot of big peppers because that brings out the fresh sweetness in it. Not too much of tomatoes or else you have a very sharp tomato base also. And if you can, inc if you stir fry your big red peppers, it gives that um, the oil a bit of flavor to it. So you don't have to use butter all the time. When I was young and we cooked for parties, we always use butter in it. It cools down the effect of the sharpness in the tomato. But then we have to be health conscious also. So we don't want to put too much fat in it. So as much as original flavors that you can get out of your jollof rice, the best. I don't use too much hot peppers because of um, sore tongue. So if that is your preference also, but if you like it to be peppery, buy the small chili peppers and put as much as you like. Always taste along the line while you're cooking. already is now and then the paste also is very creamy that is lovely look at it you can't feel any seeds or see any seeds in it it's all purity or properly so pour that in thank you that's it everything into it can you place that closer? okay Timitayo I want you to pour in the onions, please. Thank you. Good girly. Don't move too close to the cooker now. And then you can stir it in. At this point of time, we're going to put all our other seasonings in it, like our thyme, the curry, 
and the vegetable stock is what I like to use. I don't like using too much of chicken stock because of them. Um, you know, we all have to be health conscious at the same time. So this is the vegetable stock that I'm going to use. curry powder, just shake a little bit, you are going to do yours too, just a little bit and then stir it together, stir it stir it, that's good, that's enough now and then put a bit of um, the thyme in it also you want to taste it to see? Mm. how does it taste in Kyle? nice isn't it? Yeah. Um, try avoid scratching the bottom of the pot when you're stirring. Thank you. <laughs> Although this is an iron cast pot, but then the noise is quite a bit irritating. Yeah, can you bring the butter, please? And let's put a little bit in it. Okay, Timmy. Okay, oh, thank you, darling. So we're just gonna use a little bit of it. Okay, darling. I'm going to give it to you now. Okay, so Mikaya, hold mommy's hands and let's put it in together, although you can't see it. But that's it. Good girl. Do you want to put it back in the fridge for me? I've used a slightly salted butter, so it's not too salty. So then we'll cover the pot up and then we'll allow it to settle a bit to so cook. Then we now add the rice. Once you, the paste um, that we put in the pot is tasty, you can taste it, the salt is right, the seasoning is right in it. Then you now add the rice and leave it to steam up. And the color and everything will all work together and it comes out beautifully well. So we'll see you after it's done. Um, Toby, you know for the amount of um, tomatoes and peppers that we're going to use, we, we can't put too much rice in it. Because if we put too much rice, it comes out dry and then you lose all that pasty flavor and everything will blend it, will be a waste. So I want you to just get me two cups of rice. Yeah. We like to use the um, Asli Golden Basmati rice. The best, if you're very, very health conscious, you can always cook the jollof rice also with bulgur wheat. Bulgur wheat has got less carbohydrates in it if you're the kind of person that is looking out for carbohydrates and you don't want too much of it. So, but we're using the Astley Golden Basmati because that's not too heavy for a carbohydrate um, rice. So we use this one and I'm, we're going to use two cups. We'll first of all wash these two cups and see. <laughs> She's put three cups in it now. All right. 